in the 70s pa. Sabi niya, there's something I missed. I don't see those encounters really getting in love with Jesus. Yun ang kanyang experience. So there's something kulang dito. So he reflected, he did research, and then he discovered what is missing is the evangelizing dimension of the whole experience. Because with evangelization, the first, the fruit, the effect of true evangelization is a true encounter with Christ. Nasa gayon, hindi mo na bibitawan si Kristo. Yung talagang nakadikit ka dyan. Mayroong mga ups and downs, pero basically, Christ is, you are with Christ. Yun ang kanya. So he started now to come up with another program. Ang tawag niya, Evangelization Pastoral. And his sources were more from South America, especially I think from Mexico. He was he was sharing with us in a mod, in one of the modules, and, sp and he's still very very biblical. He used uh, he used the story of Abraham and Sarah. He used of uh, the ang kanyang ang kanyang nakanastrak na, 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 ko sa kanyang paggamit ng the, the woman at the well. The woman at the well. And he presented that uh, that episode in the form of Jesus and the woman nagliligawan. Nagliligawan sila ang dalawa. Huh? Okay? So magandang concept yan sa ano. Kaya nga, kung ito yung ano nyo, courtship nyo, maganda siguro, papasok nyo na yung ganong story ni Jesus. Kung yan, ay kayo-kayo, ito na naman si Jesus na who are, and then you in the story of Jesus are represented by this woman, this, this Samaritan woman. As a matter of fact, the Samaritan, this episode was used by the Synod Fathers in uh, presenting the message of the Synod on your evangelization. They used the experience of the Samaritan woman because in the Samaritan, that, that, that story, they, they, there was the story of the woman that was unfolded by Jesus and then in that unfolding, encounter took place and once the encounter took place there was conversion conversion there was mission yeah. and that, so the whole cycle of evangelization took place in that uh, particular uh, story okay tapos in that story nyo in dating nyo dyan okay lang sige hindi ko alam kung paano yung i-develop dyan pero maganda interesado ko makita ito eh kung paano kung paano paano uh, mag-evolve to but the sto my story, the God's story. Itong our story, okay lang, discernment of process dito, kasi I have beautiful illumination. The story of the is the story of God and the story of the community. Huwag uh, niyong kalimutan na siya, kasi katikista siya eh. Diba? The story of the community. Para ikaw, ano yung na-enlighten siya, eh, ang tanong niya sa, sa kanyang sarili, si, uh, sa tanong niya, sa, Paano naman ako sa community? Ano ang relationship ko sa community? Uh, ito si Jesus na pinaliliwanagan ako. No? And then, the celebration of vocation and renewal commitment. Dito, kasi yan ang topic nyo, uh, vocation, ito, kaya dito sa story, story that we're calling, di ba? Ang sacramental celebration dito could be matrimony or priesthood or religious life, religious profession. Ganyan. Go beyond baptism confirmation you guys dito. Diba? Yan. Basta may sacraments. And then, commitment. Yan. Okay? So, so at least nakita natin anong field natin dito ngayon, nagkaintindihan tayo. Diba? So, at least makita natin na ah, pare-pare rin pala yung ating pagkakaintindi. Iba-iba lang ang articulation, but we're focused to really at the pre catechumenate we realize here the center is the catechist. The catechist and center dito. Okay? Na ngayon, dahil uh, para, para itong sentrum to, katechist na sa sentro, ay talagang ano, maging buo, papasok natin si Jesus. Kasama niya sa pagiging sa sentrum yun. 
and there we go, we enter into the catechumenate. So, tatandaan nyo, sa catechumenate, yes, you have the story of Jesus, but also you have the story of the church in terms of doctrine, moral worship, kasi integral catechesis siya. Kung naghahanap tayo, saan pa sa yung catechetical moments, saan yung dati nating mga, right, yung pinagutunan natin na, na systematic at ito yan dito. Okay? And then, so third, so third part is again, back to the catechist, but this time at another level. Another level na siya. Hindi na siya kanyang basic story, but it's already a story. His story already integrated with Jesus' story. Therefore, Jesus' story is scrutinizing his story. Jesus' story is asking him, Look, gano kang kalalapit sa aking story? At sa gusto kong story ang para sa iyo. Okay? And then, then, as I want to call this, the end is, we celebrate these stories in the different sacramental uh, celebration. But, but, but the sacrament does not, the sacrament does do not leave us simply there inside the church celebrating the sacraments. Kaya na may go in peace, even in sahese, that we are sent down to the community. Huh? So, nakita, nakita niyo ang ganda ng ano ng Bautis of Catechumene na magandang i-introduce natin sa mga katekista. Na sa gayon, ang uh, bagong na experience nila, madali na yan i-apply para ting sa ordinary catechetical instruction. So, dito na, dito makikita magbabago ang methodology natin sa ating ordinary catechism. Then, because lalabas tayo sa overly doctrinal and we're moving to the affective catechesis. Okay? Let's have a break. Okay, sige, break muna tayo for half an hour.